There's a lot of bigger streamers that are arguing Twitch has never been child friendly. And I agree, it hasn't. So stop acting like it is though, Twitch. It, it, like that's my response to that. Why is Twitch acting like it's a child friendly site if it's not? I want to talk about the uh, implied nudity meta on Twitch. I don't know what music I should have on for this though. Do I just put this up on stream? I feel like I should just put it up on stream. Uh, Twitch has not solved the issue of it looking like a softcore porn site. I'm just not going to mince words with this. And I have no problem with there being adult oriented or even adult skewed because I think that's, that's the best way to describe it. Content on this platform. I don't think there's a problem. Why did I say content? <laughs> Because I know someone out there, especially if I was a larger streamer, would scream and be you hate women or you just hate people being free with their butt. No, it's just there's a place for what is essentially softcore porn. Here, here's what I wanted, wanted to talk about. This is my, uh, this is the recommendations for my clip page. Like on any of my clips right now, th this is what you'll get. And... It's not just me. There was another streamer who brought this up called... I, I, I think her name is Rye Lever. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, but she posted it... Or posted her tweet. Let me move myself. She posted her tweet at 9 or 10 a.m. We'll round up. It's 9.56, but we'll say 10 a.m. this morning. And... Nope. Oh, whoops. And her tweet is, I must admit, I'm relatively concerned about this. If this content isn't meant to show up in recommended, should this really be showing as a relevant clip to mine? I can't hate people doing this, but I feel somewhat uncomfortable with my content appearing alongside this. And hers is the exact same. It's almost the exact same recommends. I took this screenshot at 4.30 before about an hour ago. Which is which is insane. I, I don't I don't want to be a curmudgeon here. I'm all for just showing yourself off and making content out of it. But I don't like my content appearing alongside of it when it's not my brand. I like I have the same opinion as Ry Lover here, I would assume. Pretty closely anyway. I haven't fully percolated on my thoughts on the matter. It's just I I don't know if I feel right about Twitch essentially broadcasting softcore porn while also, and here's the key part of where my problem comes in, while also claiming that they've put blockers on it. This screenshot is from my bot account, which we talked about last week. Not bot. It's the account I use for my bot. The Kana bot you see in chat. Um, and you get the thumbnails until you click on it and then you get the warning that says, hey, this content may not be appropriate for you to watch. So what's the point of showing the thumbnail then? If we're going to keep you from watching it in motion, I, why are we not doing the full step in just, hey, until you click OK to this, you won't see the content. And they did a weird half step forward with attempting to allow artistic nudity on the platform and a bunch of people exploited that and ruined it for everybody. And they just walked it back instead of doing what I think they should have done, which is just add an NSFW section. Just commit to it. Because they don't want to interrupt the income flow that this definitely brings. Twitch is a business. Why would they want to interrupt an income flow? So don't take it off the platform. Just do what every other sensible platform does and segment everything. I'm all for tits, but not, but here is not the time. <coughs> mm-hmm. You only get the picture and that's the best we'll do. What's the meaning of this? Hi, Robin. I, I just... I'm in this weird problem. Or weird problem. I'm in this weird situation of... On some level, my head is... I'd rather just stream on YouTube. 
but YouTube doesn't have... This is going to sound weird. YouTube doesn't have the browsability that Twitch has. YouTube has the discoverability via your channel not being dead when you're not live. But it doesn't have... It doesn't have the ability to browse. And it doesn't have the features and functionality that we use over here. But it's also... I don't know how I would do FF content on YouTube. I don't... I'm not confident on its viability on that platform. YouTube is such a weird place for FF14. Because the FF crowd on YouTube loves edited content. But I don't think they're very big on VODs. I guess the best way to sum up my feelings on the Twitch issue is I'm not keen on the idea. It's not even that I'm uncomfortable. It's just I find it incessantly asinine with how half step they are at having this platform being a being in a position of this and then you go to the next page and you're being advertised the new Pokemon game. 